What is going on everyone? It has been a long time since I picked up this camera and vlogged at all. I think it's been about a month. Uh, so I'm finally caught up with my videos. I think I just got like two more to go. So I decided to pick up this camera because a lot is going on right now. This house is about to change a whole lot. I don't want to kind of document it. So the last time we talked, uh, we had a baby shower back in Memphis. I did get some videos, so I'll show you whatever I have right now. <laughs> <laughs> So we got back from that shower Monday and today is Saturday and Shelby's been itching to get all this stuff up that we got to the baby shower and she ordered tons of stuff. So let me show you over here. We have a packing play that she wants to put up. We have uh, the baby bed and we have the baby dresser. So it's all lined up in boxes here and we're turning this office, my office, Shelby's office into the nursery. So we're gonna take all this stuff right here, the big long desk, the TV, and we're gonna move all that into actually our bedroom. So let me take you back here now. So this is our bedroom right here. We're gonna put that big desk along this wall. We're gonna put the TV right there. And this is gonna be the office because we don't do anything else in this bedroom besides sleep. So when we were deciding on moving or not into a bigger place, because this is a two bedroom apartment, I said absolutely not. If we're gonna be staying in Austin, Texas again, I'm not moving into another apartment. Uh, the next place we're gonna go to is a house. So I didn't want to uh, just move again to another apartment and then again in a year, you know, get another place and move. So we're gonna stay here with a baby. So this is gonna be the nursery. So today our mission is to move this desk, move the TV into the bedroom and turn this into the nursery. just finished up the new office or the bedroom. Gainer, we're gonna have to find you somewhere else to sleep. So normally his bed is right here. And now look, he's like, what, my bed? So he's gonna either have to move over here, we're gonna have to move my nightstand or Shelby's nightstand he's to sleep by one of us. But got the desk up, TV up. So that's all done, now Shelby can be happy. So how do you feel being replaced already, Gainer? Huh? How do you feel? The baby's not even born yet and you're being replaced. Tell the vlog. What do you feel like, Gainer? How do you feel? 
How do you feel? You've been replaced. So everything is set up now. Uh, practical jokers, of course. Uh, everything's working, but we have an issue. And the only issue is because that cord. So that cord has to go to that wall. And uh, yeah, it's not long enough because we're gonna have to run that cord all around here, above the door, back down, and then attach it to there. So. We're gonna have to go to the store and find a really long cord for that. All right, so now that we're pretty much done with the office, the new office, I'm gonna have me some cold brew coffee. This stuff tastes amazing. I buy it at my local grocery store. It is a concentrated uh, black coffee. So you have to add around six ounces of this coffee and then you have to dilute it with a, either almond milk or water. I like to use unsweetened almond milk. And then I'm gonna have a protein bar. This is by far my favorite protein bar by Muscle Tech. This is a Grunk protein candy bar. This literally tastes like a Snickers bar. If you haven't tried them, order them. I'm telling you, I don't think you'll be disappointed. So I'm gonna have the coffee, have me the protein bar, and then head to the gym about, I don't know, an hour to an hour and a half. Oh, and the dilemma is solved about the cord. Figured out that that router is wireless. So we don't even have to have anything connected to that wall anymore. So we don't have to go to the store uh, and get a long cord. So everything is pretty much complete. We have the office in our bedroom now. Oh, and something else had changed since the last time we talked and you could probably tell by my face. I mean, look at this, I have chubby, Face. I got chipmunk face and I have gained about 10 pounds since the last video I did which was the DEXA scan video. I was right at 195 pounds, 10% body fat and now I am 205. So yes, I've gained around 10 pounds in three to four weeks and not necessarily good, good weight because it is a lot of body fat. Now my plans are for the off season is actually to go back down in weight to about 195 and then slowly gain weight, not the weight I'm gaining right now because I find that if you gain weight too quickly, then most of the nutrients that I'm eating actually goes into body fat storage and not muscle building. And that's what I'm trying to do during this off season is try to build as much muscle as possible. So I find that I need to actually lose a bit more body fat and then try to build up from there. So that's my goal right now. Now my workouts have been crazy. I have been loving my workouts because I'm a lot stronger now. So I'm getting my strength back because when you diet for so long and you're in a calorie deficit, your strength will tend to go down and your workouts seem to suffer. But now that I'm eating a lot more calories, uh, my workouts have been insane. I knew going into this off season that I'd be putting on a lot of fat because my body wasn't used to eating carbs every day. And then on top of that, I was used to doing cardio every single day for about 45 minutes a day uh, for months. Now I did four weeks straight of cardio without taking one day off for at least 45 minutes. And now I'm doing cardio only three times a week. And then on top of that, eating a lot more calories, eating a lot more carbs. I knew that I would be gaining a lot of body fat so what I'm trying to do right now is actually lose some weight and then try to build up. Now it is pre-workout time. Today is going to be a different day because I'm going to be working chest and biceps. So I'm trying this week to work uh, each muscle group twice. So today that is going to be chest and biceps. It's going to be fun recording because Shelby's not going to go. So I'm gonna have to somehow set up the tripod in different angles at the gym. So the pre-workout I'm taking is the Vaporex 5, the cotton candy flavor. That's one of my favorite flavors, uh, but my favorite pre-workout in flavor is the pre-build, I believe that's what it's called. Yes, it is the pre-build by Muscle Tech, and it is the gummy worm. That is my favorite flavor by far. Uh, it just tastes just like gummy worm. But I'm gonna take the cotton candy today. Uh, you can get this on bodybuilding.com. It came out maybe about, I don't know, a month and a half ago and they sent me tubs of this stuff. It works really well. Now, the reason why I like the gummy worm flavor a little bit better than cotton candy is because the cotton candy uh, is really sweet tasting. So if you're someone that really likes a pre-workout that's really sweet, the cotton candy flavor is for you. So I'm gonna drink this and then head to the gym if I find my lid for my bottle. Aha. So Shelby is in charge of the dresser. She's building the dresser. I shouldn't build the crib. <laughs> Look how big she's gotten, guys. I know if y'all haven't seen her in a long time. Really long time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. She 
can no longer fit in any of her clothes, like shirts. So now she's only wearing my like extra large t-shirts and stuff. Uh, yeah, that's my so shirt and stuff. But yeah, she can't wear any of her stuff. So the last time y'all really saw her was I actually on vacation. She was a lot smaller then. So now we have, what, six and a half weeks to go before the little man gets here. So we'll see how much I'm able to record in this gym because setting up the tripod and stuff is not always easy. Now I got a comment on my last video on my workout video, the leg workout, and they said, why don't I separate my workouts from my vlogs? The reason why I don't do that is because my workouts, typically a lot of the times I'm filming by myself with a tripod. And so I'm not able to get all different angles. And so a workout video with just the angles I get on my tripod would not be a very long video, nor would it be very good. So that's the reason why I tied into my vlogs. Now, uh, you know, when I do have someone recording me and stuff, I like to separate the video. So like the leg workout, Shelby came in and just filmed. And so I was able to get all different angles and it looked really good and it was able to stand alone in just a workout video. But like I said, a lot of the times I'm not able to do that. So comment below guys, if you would like me just to do workout videos alone without the vlogs and the workouts only being like three to five minutes, comment below and maybe, hey, I might change it up. I don't know yet. But you know, right now I feel that I'm able to get out more videos if I throw the workouts in my vlogs. What is going on everyone? A commentary for you. Now I hope you're enjoying the video so far. So first off guys, I know I said earlier in the video this was a chest and bicep day. Yes it is, but it also is a side delt. So we're also going to be working the shoulders. So first off, the main thing you want to do if you're going to try this workout out is actually time your rest periods and I'm only resting for 40 seconds max so I am timing every single rest period with the stopwatch for 40 seconds because if you don't actually time it I promise you you will end up resting a whole lot longer than that and you'll see throughout this workout I'm not lifting extremely heavy weights because I'm only resting for 40 seconds so let's jump straight into the exercise so I this was a superset I was doing preacher curl uh, I was doing four sets of eight rep superset with incline bench dumbbell curls for eight reps now a uh, little bit different here as you can see the apparatus here I am doing uh, an easy bar preacher curl with the band because uh, a lot of the times when you go up in a curl and a preacher curl you lose tension about halfway up with that band stretched out it actually keeps tension on the biceps the whole range of motion so give it a try and throughout the rep I was going up doing an isometric hold up at the top for five seconds so I did eight sets of those so I would go up hold top uh, position for five seconds and then go down that was one rep and then on the last set of the incline curls I did something that's called intro set stretching I've done this a lot of times in my older videos and stuff so what intro set stretching is you grab a certain amount of dumbbells I started with the 35s you do eight reps you hold the stretch position for 30 seconds and then you drop the weight go down and wait for about five pounds or something you do more curls then you stretch it again for 30 seconds then then you do it one more time and there is nothing like it it is like pain like you've never felt before uh, I love doing that it's a it, it's incredible so if you haven't tried intraset stretching I would really really suggest you try it out and then the last um, bicep exercise was one arm high cable curls and this was for four sets of 15 reps and I did not rest in between arms so I went from one arm to the other arm to the other arm to the other arm for those four sets so I didn't rest and the only resting was when that other arm was working then went on to chest at incline dumbbell press four sets of 15 reps uh, and then like I was saying I was resting for only 40 seconds so if I was resting for let's say a minute to a minute and a half I could almost go like 50 pounds heavier in the dumbbells this is the 90 pound dumbbells and for 15 reps I was spent uh, with because of those 40 seconds now like I said if I was resting longer I could grab the 120 pound dumbbells 110 pound dumbbells for those 15 reps if, if I was letting my body rest a little bit longer but because this is uh, what I was trying to focus on this day is trying to keep the intensity high uh, I wasn't able to use as much weight so if you like I said do this workout try to actually time your rest periods uh, because 
uh, you know, a lot of the times uh, people ask me, you know, do you actually um, time your sets and stuff? And, you know, I see people all the time on their phones and they think they're only resting for around 40 seconds to a minute. But uh, in reality, they're resting a lot longer than that, two minutes and stuff. So after the incline went on to flat dumbbell press but with uh see that inroad rotation i was doing a little bit different and you feel it in your chest uh different as well so i go up squeeze and then twist those dumbbells in and i was did four sets of those for 15 reps as well i don't even know what weight i had i think the 70 pound dumbbell so it wasn't even that heavy at all but because again only resting for those 40 seconds uh, you're not going to be able to use really heavy weight. Uh, let's see. And then the other exercise for shoulders, this was a giant set. So three exercises in one without resting. This is four sets of every single one of these exercises you're about to see. So a high incline, about 75, I guess, percent incline dumbbell lateral raise for 15 reps. And then superset with cable lateral raises so i said it was a giant set actually it was a uh, it was a superset it wasn't even a giant set so this was the last exercise right here and this was just cable uh, lateral raises this is for four sets of 15 reps as well and that is the end of the workout guys i hope you enjoy the rest of the video Just got done with that workout and made it back to my apartment complex. Man, it looks like it's gonna rain out here. So the workout was not that intense as you can see. It wasn't even that long of a workout. The reason why is because I already worked those muscle groups earlier in the week and I lifted heavy and went more intense. But today was uh, the second day working them and so I just went for more reps just to get blood into the muscle. So I'm sorry about that. Now to go in and get a protein shake, get my creatine and see what Shelby is up to. So Shelby was very productive while I was gone. We still got boxes everywhere. She uh, finished it, got all the drawers done. I helped her with the back of it because it was like 25 million screws. But she uh, put all the drawers together and then she built the baby bed. So there's the baby crib. Oh, it's, um, huh. it's turning into a nursery. This is getting scary. And then we got the couch over here that Gainer is loving. But yeah, the nursery is pretty much complete besides she's gonna do some decorating on one wall. It's going to be like some globe and it's going to be where everywhere I guess I've been or we've been together. I don't know. Uh, so I, I don't know what else she's going to do. There's no telling. But right now, anyways, the furniture is in. So as I was saying, I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, so let me show you what we're having for dinner that's going to help with my goals. <laughs> I know. I struggle so hard. Uh, with eating clean. So this is my first cheat meal since uh, I guess Monday. So it's been just about a week. I'm gonna try to have just one a week. So tonight's the night that we're having the cheat meal. It happens to be when I'm vlogging. So let me show you. A lot of people give us a hard time about uh, getting pizza because we always normally get like Papa John's or Domino's. But today we went with a food truck and this is called Backdraft Pizza. So it's a local uh, pizza place here and it's just a food truck. So we got two different pizzas. This is Shelby's spicy uh, sausage pizza or something. And this is mine because of course I had to have the pineapple. It's a little bit different pizza because we're normally the kind of person that has uh, like thick crust, but this is like kind of thin. So we're gonna give this a try. It had uh, five stars on Yelp with like 500 reviews. So very popular place. So we're gonna try this out and see if we like it. And if we do, Shelby said it's dangerous because it was about a minute down the road. So now we're done eating the pizza. It was pretty good. I would give it out of a rating of one to 10, I would give it an eight. Uh, it was, like I said, different. We're used to a thicker crust and this is thinner. But guys, I'm gonna end the video here because nothing much is going on right now. We're just watching some television. Uh, and then we have church in the morning. So gonna go to bed, I would say around 11 o'clock or something. I'm gonna try to get up and do some cardio since I'm having this cheat meal uh, tonight. I need to get up and do some hit cardio. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, first time being back on a camera is kind of different. Today I've done like 100 takes of everything because I just keep messing up because I'm just not used to talking to the camera anymore. 
so I gotta make it a habit and get back into vlogging. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. All right, guys, peace. You don't have to record this. I was just gonna record the building. Oh. Uh -huh.